people of Earth, my name is Colin, your name is audience, and welcome back to this. Well, it is Friday, uh, a bit late in the week to be recording the vlog, but somehow earlier in the week than I normally record vlogs, so I don't know what's going on there. Basically, here is the situation, or the sitch, as the kids would say. Tomorrow, Saturday, uh, Carly and I are leaving for the lake to uh, hang out with her family and have a good time. Basically a vacation for me um, for the week, next week. Uh, so obviously that means that I'm not gonna be able to stay up till 1 a.m. editing my vlog for this week to go out on Tuesday. So I'm filming this today on Friday. I'm also gonna be editing it on Friday, have it ready to go, scheduled to be uploaded uh, for the whole weekend until it gets to Tuesday and then it's going to post automatically. Um, just because I'm, I'm not going to have time. Today's my last day of work. Um, not just last day of work before vacation, but last day of work before uh, going back to sports. Um, as many of you know, if you're watching the vlog regularly or you know me in person, um, for the entire summer I've been working as a teaching artist um, at a, uh, at a film academy, uh, basically for, for kids. And so each week we get a new group of students, they come in, we make a film over the course of the week, we show it to their parents on Friday, new group of students the next Monday, yada, 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 we go through the same stuff over and over and over again. Um, overall it's been a super, super positive experience. It certainly got me more excited about filmmaking. Um, and I think the reason that I like it so much is because a lot of these kids are not pretentious about film. They just want to tell a story that's fun and entertaining. And at the end of the day, that's exactly how I feel about film. I want to go in and make something that people are going to laugh at, people are going to have fun with, people are going to enjoy. I don't give a rat's ass, pardon my French, about the artistic integrity of the piece. Um, obviously you want it to look good, you don't want it to look bad, but at the end of the day what matters most to me, and clearly what matters most to a lot of these kids, is whether or not the story that's in their head is coming through the camera, the editing, and showing up on the screen at the end. And so I really enjoy doing it, it's opened my eyes to just kind of, you don't have to be making the most beautiful artistic film in the world, you just have to be making a film. And that's really exciting. Um, because it's encouraging, for me at least, that um, if I wanted to, making short films or something like that is an avenue that I could absolutely go down if I wanted to. Um, I don't, as of right now, plan on it, just because it's a lot more work um, and a different type of work than, uh, than I really enjoy doing. I love live production a lot. The, the meat of this vlog is going to be um, an EDC video. If you don't know what that is, you must have been living under a rock, but EDC stands for Everyday Carry. And essentially just, I'm going to go through um, kind of just my everyday kit being a freelance videographer. Alrighty, so it, uh, today went good. My last day of work uh, at my summer job went good. Uh, it's weird to say that I'm glad to be done with it, but it, you know, it ended well. Um, the film that the kids did this week was fantastic. Had a lot of cool effects in it. Got me out of my comfort zone with some editing stuff in Final Cut particularly, so uh, not necessarily happy that it's over, but um, looking forward, we'll put it that way. As promised, I've got all of my, not earthly possessions, but my daily possessions with me here. Um, we're just going to go over real quick what I regularly carry with me. Um, so first and foremost uh, in my pockets is, uh, we got a wallet, some cheap wireless headphones, uh, iPhone 7, and then a small rig multi-tool. Other than that, water bottle. It's a Yeti. Uh, it's got what I think is called a chug cap. My, uh, it's been called many things over time. Uh, for me, it's, you know, it's technically speaking a sling. Um, some people call it my Merce, uh, my European carry-all. Uh, or my uh, or my man purse, which is just Merce but elongated. Essentially, what this is this is a Peak Design Everyday Sling. Um, I can't remember what size it is. I will have that 
on the screen right now what exact size this is because there's three different sizes. I believe it's the middle one, which is so this is the uh, first camera bag that I ever owned. Uh, I know it's tiny, right? It came uh, with a JVC little handheld camcorder in it that my parents got me for my birthday one year. Um, they also gave me a tripod and a 32 gig SD card, which I think is still in the rotation, and I think I still use that. It might have been a 16 gig, though. I don't know. I can't really remember. It was a long time ago. Anyway, this has since uh, been repurposed into my kind of GoPro attachment, or just my GoPro, pun intended, go bag. Um, it doesn't quite fit the GoPro and the suction cup attachment that I use most for it for the driving time lapses, which I'm sure you're all familiar with because I do them literally every week. Um, it doesn't quite fit in there because I've just added something to this that takes up a decent amount of room in the bag. But I did just take out a divider, which I didn't realize I could remove, so maybe it'll fit now. Anyway, let's open this up. USB-C cable, pretty self-explanatory. That is for charging primarily. Um, we'll get more into that in a second. Um, we have a just you know a random GoPro attachment. Um, we have another random GoPro attachment, um, and this little thing that I purchased very recently. That is the newest addition to the bag. It is a charging case for GoPro batteries. The important thing to note, obviously, I can't show you the GoPro right now, but that generally is around this bag. The GoPro that I own is the GoPro Hero 2018, which has been firmware updated uh, to basically function as the Hero 5 Black. The thing to remember though, is if you are going to be buying batteries or a battery case like this, make sure you're buying the right ones, because I did actually purchase a uh, similar product to this and had to return it because I didn't read the details enough and they were the wrong size batteries. But Anyway, so this USB-C cable, what this used to do was this used to just plug right in the GoPro and I would just charge my single battery from there. What happens now is I essentially charge up our, uh, our battery case there with the batteries in it. There's three of them in there. There's obviously one in the camera. So um, at full charge, that's like four batteries. It's not like four batteries. It is four batteries. Uh, starting with our external pocket, this is where I... Uh, keep a random piece of Velcro, interesting. Um, more pens, as I said, is this a Pilot G2? That's a Pilot G2, we found one, look at that, shocking. Put those off to the side. Um, even further in here, I'm gonna cover that up because I don't want you to see my phone number, but this is, uh, I'm pretty sure I've shown it on stream before, or on video before more specifically, um, SD card case from Pelican. Reaching deeper into this outside pocket, we have <gasps> Silver Sharpie. That kind of goes along with the gaff tape. Um, since it is black tape, you can't really use a black Sharpie on it, so you use a Silver Sharpie. And then uh, some random change that I don't know where it came from, but I guess I stuck it in here, so that's where it's gonna stay. So now we're moving into the main kind of container of the bag. Uh, as you can see, it opens up pretty wide, but again, not quite wide enough to fit the Canon 80D as comfortably as I would like. Um, right here is my main pair of video headphones, uh, and by video headphones, I mean headphones that I just, they're analog, they plug into something. So they plug into a camera, they can plug into a computer. Next, we'll pull out uh, Clyde, you've seen him before. He is our uh, Canon, I believe it's PowerShot. Let's read that real quick. Canon zoom lens. This is a PowerShot SD790 image stabilization. Cool. Point shoot. Next in here, we uh, grab this funny looking charger. Pretty proprietary first person. Uh, first person, sorry. First party. It's, uh, it's a Fitbit charger for my Fitbit because got to keep it charged and I'm notoriously bad about charging my Fitbit when it runs out. So I carry it with me so if I have a moment and I'm thinking about it, I can plug it in and charge it iPhone charger. Oh, I have to explain that. I believe this is an Anchor one. Anchor makes good cables. If you're looking to buy a cable of some kind, um, unless it's a super like unique one, Anchor's a good bet. They are a little bit pricey, but they make good stuff that lasts a while. Then we have a little bit of a beefier um, USB-C cable, which uh, I don't believe I've talked about before, is a pocket router, but it does more than just that. Um, obviously, it's got some ports on it. You can plug in 
uh, an Ethernet. So you can, you know, if you're in a hotel room, you can Ethernet in so you don't have to worry about connecting all of your devices to the hotel's Wi-Fi. You can just have them connect to your own Wi-Fi, which um, is technically safer from a security standpoint. Then we have just a standard USB, which you can plug any of the cables I just showed you that I carry around in the bag, and it will charge the device. So it's a portable battery as well as a pocket router. That's their USB-C for charging, so hence the USB-C cable to charge it. And then over here we have kind of the magic part of this and the real reason why I kind of bought it. Now you may be asking, why would you need an SD card reader on a pocket router? Well, let me tell you. Basically, you can use it as a media hub. So if you have um, movies, if you have like MP4s of movie, like actual movies, like like movies, movies, or just any videos, really. You can um, copy them to, there's a little bit of storage built into the thing, but you can also stream them through the pocket router onto your device um, or onto multiple devices. Obviously, the bandwidth is going to affect that. I haven't used it that way. I've tried. I've tried to view, um, like, shot footage through the connection. It's not horrible, but it does take a second to load this button right next to that port. Essentially what you can do is you can put an SD card in, you can plug a external hard drive using USB-A into the device. You can then press this single button, SD arrow USB, and it will automatically, automatically without you having to do anything, it will copy all of the files from that SD card over onto the hard drive. Move that out of the way. Uh, the last two things in the bag as of right now, not as of right now, right now at the bottom in this main compartment are two wall warts. Um, this is just kind of like a crappy Apple one that I've had forever. And then this is actually one that I believe came with my HTC Vive, um, which uh, I think it's supposed to be used for charging the, con uh, you know, the controller wands for the VR headset. But um, it's got a USB on it, so plugs into the wall, that's all you need. I'm going to go ahead and zip this back up. We'll move back over to the normal uh, vlog position and we'll finish it up for this week. That is going to do it for this week's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed me going through just all of my stuff that I carry around with me all the time. It's all really helpful um, and I use most of it pretty regularly. There's not a whole lot of stuff in there that is wasteful or that I don't you know, or I don't use. Can't be overstated um, how nice it is to have something that just like has stuff that you need in it, you know, easy access. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, I don't have much more to say. Uh -huh. That's gonna do it. Uh, as always, thank you for hanging around with me and checking out what I have to say. Um, and yeah. I will see you next week, but if I don't, have a good one. Peace.